things escalated like they usually do with an organization project. You just waiting for me. Okay, guys, disaster central in here. Like, disaster. This is a project that I started last night. And we'll continue today. Look at all those carts. Like, who needs that many carts? This cart was housing my stamping plates. I'm fairly confident I shared that in a vlog one time. This cart is super wobbly, which just doesn't work for heavy stamping plates very well. Um, but I was also finding that I was running out of room in the different categories that I had. So, I wanted to move them over to one of these carts because the stamping plates that I have for sale for Flora over here, um, I put them in these containers and it just works so well. It's easy to find them. These plastic sheets are plexiglass inserts that you can get on Amazon and uh, they're way too, or they're too big to fit this way. Um, so I'm just going to leave them like this for now and if they bug me, I might look for a smaller one, but I think they're functioning okay. Um, I only got up to miscellaneous and then I'm going to put all my event ones down here. So like my Christmas, Halloween, fall, all that, all my seasonal plates are going to go down here. Michael's yesterday and grabbed um, four of those containers. They're just, I actually use them literally all over my studio, but I think I need a couple more now. I put all my stickers in something like this uh, because something that I've just learned about myself is that I am like a dumper put away person. Like <laughs> I do not like systems that are too structured where you have to like open open the book and pull the sticker out and put it back in. It's just too annoying for me. So this works really well. I can just grab all my floral stickers out and take a look at what I have, put them all back in. There's no rhyme or reason to it besides the fact that they're organized in little categories. So I really do like this, but I would like this system in a drawer because I don't reach for stickers and decals as much as I would like. I just moved this out for now and I think I'm going to change the container of that. This is what I do as I'm falling asleep. I think of different solutions to organize my studio to make it function better. So can you tell that it's saturday today okay it has been a while since i've filmed a vlog shocking filming vlogs is not the hard part the hard part is finding the time to edit the vlogs that's the hard part uh because i can set a camera up and just well it does take time like i can film what i'm doing but it takes time to be mindful of the shots i'm getting and all of that that's why i haven't been filming much um flora the first month of opening was amazing like you guys blew me away. I'm so forever thankful for all of the support and the orders have been so fun. I love seeing what you guys pick out. I do on my TikTok and my Instagram for Flora, I do little shopping videos so you guys can see all your products uh, being picked. Um, the confetti is super popular. Um, this last week has been pretty slow, which tells me that I obviously have not been spending enough time um, like creating content for Flora. There's actually a whole bunch of new stuff that I need to get up on the site. But when I spend a lot of time on Flora, the press-ons kind of get behind. So I have been catching up most of this week on the press-on stuff, which is, again, why you guys have seen more content on social media about like nail art and stuff. I am definitely at the point where I need an assistant <laughs> to do a lot of the behind the scenes stuff that is taking away from the content creating that I want to spend doing. And I'm really hoping to be able to implement something in the next few months because I, I know I can't keep going at this rate. Like I just, I just can't, I'm gonna burn out. There's things that running two online businesses require to be done that I don't like and don't want to do. Like I would much rather spend time creating content and creating nails. That's what I like to do. Anyway, that all said, today I will show you guys what's new in here because I don't think you guys have seen this. The shipping station is quite updated as well. And I did have a huge restock of Coco and Claire and Clear Jelly Stamper probably two weeks now I think but a lot of it is gone too uh it like when restocks happen it seems like things just sell out really quick there's still quite a few of things on the site like there I still I have tons of inventory like I really do but it's like it goes in waves of what's popular and what you guys want so it's again it's been really fun to see all of that do I have new releases since I filmed a vlog yes I, I think I do I think I have a couple new releases and then you guys will get a sneak peek of some stuff that uh, will be going up on the site hopefully this coming week because my mom is going to come and help me do some of that this this coming week. So, uh, so all I'm doing here at the computer, I don't want to spend too much time here. I don't think I have any orders to fill. I think I'm all caught up. A few sets I want to get done today. One of them is, it's actually a, like a really interesting custom order. It's um, like a medieval 
castle dragon type of nail set. I'm really looking forward to creating that. And she sent me this really fun color palette for it. But it's got like a really nice um, taupey brown color, teal, like a mauve gray turmeric type of color and then like a blush pink like it's just a beautiful color palette and to do that with like dragons and castles I think it's gonna be so fun uh, so I was talking to that customer yesterday usually when it comes to custom orders and stuff like that that's like a theme I like to talk to my customers a day or two before and start brainstorming ideas because that's kind of what happens in my brain my brain is so blah, 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 all the time that I'm constantly thinking of like 40 things at once I feel like let's get our emails done I have some breakfast I'm gonna quickly eat a shake and we should be good to go. So the Coco and Claire restock. See, there is lots of options still available, but there are some things that have already sold out. So um, these are the Coco and Claire. It was their winter collection. They're they're super interesting. I might have a video on these too. Um, but what these are, are cat eye gel polishes that have flash glitters to them as well, but they're sheer. So they go over top of colors really nice and then you get um, like the flash glitter on top of them and they're magnetic and they're cat eyes. So they have like magnet properties to them as well. Um, they're really, really neat. I, I feel like they're underrated, but I filmed... I filmed packing one of my customers orders with all of them. I think she got all of them except for one. And ever since then, a lot of them have been selling. So those need to be restocked. Um, this is a summer collection from Coco and Claire up there. Do they call it a summer collection? They had a spring and a summer collection and they're kind of mixed in. Um, and a lot of the brighter pinks and stuff have sold. There's still these. Okay, builder gels, you guys. I feel like the Coco and Claire Builder Gels are so underrated. So um, I think people are intimidated by the fact that they say Builder and they're not gel polish. So they do have a Builder consistency to them. So they're a little bit thicker, but think of like a milky gel polish, like a milky white gel polish. That's what these are, but in color. So I actually use these all the time for marbling. Like I love marbling these together with um, other kind of brighter glass gels and then, and then some shimmers and stuff. I decided to bring these in because I love them so much and like nobody's buying them. I'm like, these are so great, you guys. This collection has been super popular as well. I cannot remember. I feel like it was a summer collection last year, but if you want glitters that really just pop, these are them. So you know, Coco and Claire posted a picture of these recently too. They, they're in the 300s as far as the numbers go. Um, there's like one coat of these and they're super pigmented. I believe I have a video on these as well. Um, I stocked up on some of the different top coats that they offer. They have three different kind of shimmery ones and then they also have the matte ones. They call them confetti and then quail egg, which is great for Easter nails. I think stuff goes. I did bring in a couple of the collections of um, clear jelly stamper polishes, which haven't been that popular. This is the collection I was telling you about, the sheer one though. I did bring those in and those have been selling. Um, some of the Coco and Claire palettes, a lot of stampers because those go quick. And the Nail Queen Studio, I'm just about out of the gel pots. Like what you see here is all I have left for the gel pots. And then some of my favorite colors like Pop Champagne, I ordered a bunch of them and I have tons of those left still. And then some gel polishes, but these have my Nail Studio rollers in them. These are the Clear Jelly Stamper brush holders and then all those ring palettes I believed I shared in my last vlog. Uh, this drawer down here, more ring palettes. These are new. So these are bead pens. They are Boolean bead pens. They come in rose gold, silver, yellow gold, and like a gunmetal. So this is what the tip of them looks like. It's got like a little dispenser to dispense the Boolean beads um, one at a time. So the nice thing about this is you're not going to have to worry about spilling your beads or anything and you can push this button down and then it'll dispense them exactly uh, where you want them to go. My only complaint about these is the beads come out pretty slow, good and bad, because I used to have some of these in my collection as well that I would use on a regular basis um, and the beads just came pouring out when you push the button. So it was super annoying, but these ones come out really slow. So the shells and pearls, which I've been using for ocean nails lately, and then a whole bunch of the ring palettes. And then of course, clear jelly stamper restock too, but you guys love the clear jelly stamper on the site. So. Really like 
liking how it came together. I'm definitely gonna have to do something about these because they are just too tall and I know I'm gonna bump them and it's gonna bug me. Uh, but I got all of the plates in here now. Basically my different prints, my animal print, my florals, my lace, my swirls, my textures, font, sports, music, um, food, that sort of thing. And then this is all um, like events and holidays. There's ocean and vacation plates back there. These ones are uh, seasonal, spring, summer, fall, winter back here. And then uh, your big holidays, Christmas, Halloween, Valentine's Day, and Easter. This whole thing is Christmas here, that's crazy. Um, and then these plates are new, and you guys ask all the time where they're from. Here it is. And they have like different characters on them, like Harry Potter, um, Lord of the Rings, all that sort of stuff. Um, so I've got some those of those because I just cannot hand paint to save my life and I do not enjoy hand painting. Now down here, I moved my spinny little organizer and then all of my stamping, stampers, <laughs> my extra polishes and my scrapers, all of that stuff in here. I wouldn't mind getting one more of these for this cart. I think I need two more because I haven't no, I need like four more because I bought a bunch of cart, bunch of carts that those things can go into. But for now, this will do. And then this over here, all of this stuff that was on top here, it needed to go somewhere. So I put it in this cart for now. I do not know if it's going to stay in here, but I like being able to see everything from this angle versus in here, they were kind of on a slant. And so I had to turn my cart to see what it was. Yeah. So I like being able to actually see what top glasses I have and such. And I really I want to see Fusion come out with more of these matte top coats. They are amazing. My Ugly Duckling stands for press-ons. I think two of these are ivories that are here too. Um, my e-file I moved down there, my top coats, and then down here is my Crystal Pixies. These um, stamping polishes here, they were a new collection that I feel like was never really announced because I didn't even know they actually launched it yet. And they are sheer gel, pol or they are sheer stamping polishes. Uh, so they have like this, for example. So this one here is, it's a repeat color. They already have a purple like this in the collection, but this is sheared out a little bit. Uh, so if you were wanting to layer it with a similar color, it would look really cool. I have not even had a chance to swatch these. I've had them for months though, um, but I was waiting for like an actual announcement of the release and I don't think they ever really did one. It's just available on the site now. Um, and I do have these in a collection as well as individually on Flora too. But yeah, I, I need to spend some time playing with those because I think those are going to be great. And then I've just got a bunch of uh, sticky clear polishes here and then all my crystal pixies are here. But I know I'm going to like this. I'm going to like being able to see my plates like this versus turn on an angle as well. Um, I just have to do something about those inserts. Okay. Things escalated like they usually do with an organization project. This is my makeup collection. <laughs> Okay, so pre-kids, pre-everything. So I know that if you've watched any of my why I started my YouTube channel videos, I talk about like watching makeup vloggers and stuff and loving what they were doing on the makeup side and wanting to bring it to the nail art world. Now keep in mind, this was, oh gosh, like seven years ago. So um, the beauty community on YouTube was a lot different then. Anyway, so I had like a very large makeup collection back in the day pre-kids all of that uh actually this unit that you guys are sitting on right now it's a nine door alex unit it used to be full of makeup so i have significantly downsized to this clear cube again i got this clear cube i think rose was a baby so it's like four years ago i can't find it i've looked because many people have asked in my instagram and stuff and i cannot find a link but I really like how it's organized. I like this because the drawers are really deep. Well, not super deep, but they're deeper than these ones over here. And I think they'll hold things a little bit better. And then there is one large drawer down here. So what I'm hoping is that I can move most of these things into this and then put, I'm going to downsize my makeup too, because some of it is just so old. It's not even good anymore. Um, and then move a lot of these into here and take these back upstairs. And I go through this every so often, clean it out. My palettes, I, I know I've recently gone through these, but like, I really actually do like these Milani blushes, but palette I love, it's old and it's like cracked, but I just, I just love it. All of these palettes I still use, so I'm not getting rid of any of these. Okay, this Urban Decay Naked palette, this was like the original one, like the original, very first one that ever came out. I had to like hunt this down because you could not find it anywhere back in the day. It's iconic. So many of these I don't even use for me as I've gotten older. There's just things I like and things I don't like. Um, like all these hot pink lipsticks, I probably won't ever wear these. 
All my MAC lipsticks are really old. These I love. These are Revlon lip butters. They're super old, but I do actually really love them. I've been waiting to do this for so long, and every time I look at my like makeup storage and stuff in my bathroom when I'm getting ready, I keep thinking to myself, you know, that would work so good in the nail studio. And this is my favorite MAC lipstick. It's called Hot Gossip. Mm, I love this one. my magpie stuff in here that is one brand i am loving how done a few like a few videos and stuff featuring magpie stuff back when they first came to canada and i haven't done any since but i have religiously been with their items because i they work so well for the press on these chromes on Amazon, these chromes and flakes. I love chromes and flakes for the press-ons. Um, they're for resin. Now the chrome, I, I've tried to actually chrome with it and I can't get it to work so I might have to play around with it. And then these are the Moira Spotlight Reflective Glitters. I like those with um, gel stamping which I don't do a ton of. And then Glitter Mix Canada's reflective gels too, or um, glitters. I need to put the rest of them in here because I think I have them in a different drawer. I know we don't have all of them uh, because when I ordered them, they were, some of them were out of stock, but uh, I'll try and shine a flashlight on them too so you can kind of see what they do. And then I do have some gel, they're so pretty, some stamping gel from Moira that I use with these in combination. I wish I had more time to do tutorials and stuff showing you guys all this cool stuff. I just don't. Chromes, again, something I use all the time for chrome stamping. charm thing I had that thing over here which was dumb and then I went to move my desk a little tiny tiny bit and dropped it on the floor hello 3d charms and crystals all the ugly duckling like big crystals excellent so I think we're gonna have a 3d charm drawer now where you just grab randomly whatever it is that you want because there is no way I am sorting these back out Time that I set this thing up I remember even thinking like you know, if that fell, that would really suck. And here we are. Thankfully, my floor is not too dirty. Sometimes you just gotta step away from things that are pissing me off. <laughs> and that's where I feel like with that project over there because I need to step away from it. And I'm gonna show you guys a couple new things up here. Just put some lotion on. This is from Onyx Nail Pro. Did I even tell you guys that we got new cuticle oils from Onyx Nail Pro? I don't even know. I get it mixed up so much with uh, what I share on TikTok and Instagram and then what I do in the vlogs. But I know I haven't vlogged in a few weeks, so I very well might not have shared it. But um, Onyx Nail, I'm going to share it again if I haven't. Onyx Nail Pro is a small shop in Alberta where I live. She messaged me on TikTok and asked me if she could send me a bunch of her cuticle oils and her lotions this was months ago and I asked if they are um, Canada health regulated and all of that because that's something that's really important to me especially with body products like you want to know what you're putting on your body and if you're using it on like clients and stuff I can't like I just want to trim these off my hairdresser told me not to so she sent me some to try she sent me I believe one of the cuticle pens I feel like I'm gonna share them in a hole or something loved them they smell so nice nice and nourishing if you've tried the nail queen studio cuticle oils which i was raving about for a very long time and still love them um they're a little bit oily than those ones and a little bit more fragrant and then obviously they have their own scents and all of that they are definitely a little bit different uh and i fell in love with them so i asked them if i could bring them into flora when i was opening flora up and i put a, an order in with her and it worked out good because as soon as the Nail Queen Studio cuticle oils sold out, the Onyx Nail Pro ones arrived. So you guys didn't really have to be without cuticle oils on the site for a while. I also ordered like a sampling, like three different ones or five different ones or something of her cuticle oil pens. 
You guys sold these out in like a week. Like it was crazy. When she sent me that order, she also sent me some of her lotion to try and then she sent it in this and she sent it in little tiny packets that I could put in the confetti as well. This stuff, amazing. If you've ever used OPI's Avo Juice, which is something when I worked full time with my clients, I had, lo that's the lotion I put on at the end of the service because it was a very nice fragrant smell like everybody really liked the smells of it. it wasn't super thick and it was easy to apply on my clients um wasn't greasy it would dry really quick so that if they were going to open doors and stuff their hands wouldn't be so greasy and it's nice and thin like a really thin consistency my only complaint about opi avo juice was that um i don't want to say i found it drying but it's like it didn't absorb into the skin very well so your hand didn't feel very moisturized after um which was okay for that type of service where I'm just putting it on and they're walking out the door. Um, this stuff is nice and thin, a very beautiful fragrance. It's kind of like a citrus meets the ocean <laughs> smell. It smells so good. Very nice and fragrant, um, but it's super, super moisturizing. So it's like a better version of OPI's Avo Juice, which I'm really pumped about. Anyway, so I'm bringing this into the shop and it's, it's on its way with a huge restock of the cuticle oil pens in her summer scents as well. Anyway, I have these organizers over here. So they are from a company called The Original Pink Box. They make pink tools, mostly hot pink, and then they also have uh, like different tool chests and stuff. And I ordered three of these on Wayfair um, for my clear jelly stamper uh, polishes. I also have some of my smaller stuff from Flora in here as well. Um, these are going to be releasing soon, which I'm pumped about. And I had all my cuticle oils for Onyx Nail Pro over here. Now, just to clean up this box, I am going to put some other stuff in here. This much room for the cuticle oil pens. Like, I'm not going to have that many, especially with how quickly I sell them out. But we do have something else coming on the site. I'm hoping by the time you guys are watching this that these will all be up on the site. But I need my mom's help to get them up there. So I ordered in a bunch of sticker packs from Nails Pampered uh, to sell on the site as well as like to go in the confetti and stuff and then um, a bunch of her pins as well. A variety pack of stickers that you can get. So And then they also have like this one as well. Um, there's this one too. These would be a good option to grab if you want to try some of the stickers, right? Because then you have a variety of them. And then these ones too. These are probably my favorite. I love these. So I'm just gonna put these in here for now. And then tons of these holographic stickers that you can get individually as well of the pins that she offers too. So just fun, like really cool stuff to just like add to your cart as you're checking out. And then also these sticker mystery bundles. I think these are super, super fun. And she put in some really fun floral stickers for Flora as well. She, Abby has been just amazing to work with. Like I just cannot recommend her enough. She did my logo for Flora and everything as well. Like it's just been such an amazing experience. Um, and especially like when you're doing that sort of stuff and you're redesigning your logo and starting a new business, it's really hard to know who to trust with all that, right? So she has been incredible. They say glitter stylist. Like how cute is that? I like that she makes like pins and stickers and all this stuff that has other things besides nail polish on it because it is so hard in the industry to find like that sort of stuff that doesn't have just nail polishes on, right? She has a lot of variety to what she offers and I appreciate that. I mean, we all love nail polish stuff, but as gel techs or acrylic techs, it, you know, it'd be nice to find stuff that represents more of what we use on a day-to-day -day basis. This is the most annoying organiza organization system I've ever bought. It's from Impressions Vanity. The only nice thing about this is that it fits perfectly in an Alex Dory unit. Um, but for the nail studio, I have never found anything that works for it. Um, I'm hoping I can get some of these stickers to fit in here.
we did it. We did it. It's done. I'm gonna go through everything for you guys. There's these need pictures so they're just in there for now um on top this thing actually flips up so if like for makeup you could just put an organizer in here and have it all displayed i don't think i have a use for that yet so i just moved all my pixies in here and i actually really like how they look in here it's really easy to see the colors which i appreciate i don't this is going to be annoying like i and that was my biggest complaint with having this upstairs too is this is annoying to use you basically always have to have this um open to be able to actually use the top of it and then in here is those chromes I was telling you guys about from Amazon. I have my little crystals back here from Daily Charm. Absolutely love those. This drawer is all of my leaves and like flakes. Uh, and then these, I do have some chromes back here because they couldn't fit in the chrome drawer. This is the chrome drawer. And these ones are the ones I reach for the most. The absolute most. It's one of my Magpie Beauty drawers, flakes and foils. And then this one is all glitters down here. And then this I turned into my stamping drawer, which I'm hoping is not too like annoying to open all the time to get everything. Uh, but I have all my stamping heads, which I use most of these for chrome. Um, these are all the like actual clear ones that I use for stamping. And then these are backup colors. I haven't gone through this in a bit. This is press on stuff in here. This is my ugly dusting drawer. So these are all new goodies that are sent for creating content. And I use them only for creating content so they stay nice and clean. Um, Coco and Claire palettes. I have a few of these still in stock um, in, at Flora. I believe they're just continuing them. And then this is my crystal drawer. <laughs> I grab this if I just want to do like a crystal cluster and don't. I'm not super picky about the colors that are going on it. Uh, this is more 3D charms. These are all ugly duckling crystals in there. Uh, and then more crystals. These are all crystals in all of these containers. I moved my Opry inks in here because Coco and Claire does not have brown yet. I'm hoping someday they come out with brown because I use brown all the time. But if I have a choice between the Opry or the Coco and Claire, I usually grab Coco and Claire because they're just way more pigmented. I feel like they're more versatile if they're more pigmented. I can blend them out a little bit more. Um, they're not everybody's cup of tea though. I'm kind of annoyed that that took me like as long as it did today, but I'm glad it's done. Like I got so much done today and then I swept on my floor, which was covered in shipping materials. Um, we put away all those pins and those stickers. That's gonna be huge because then when I actually uh, get the pictures done and on the site, I can start shipping stuff right away. So I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, but I'm gonna go watch some Schitt's Creek and create some press-ons. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you have any questions, definitely leave them below. And thank you guys so much for all of the support and your patience with YouTube because it's been a struggle right now. So let's all keep our fingers crossed that Talia can make it work to hire my assistant soon <laughs> um, so that I can be on here a little bit more. <laughs> okay, see you guys.